So here I am right outside the garage door. And beyond that door is where I'm going to be working today. I... Da -da -da. Those are my donation boxes. Recycle. My yard work box. Now this is where I'm going to be working first. I want this to have nothing on the floor and I want to utilize those shelves appropriately. to make room for the stuff. So the car seats and strollers I put in the <clears throat> this storage room over here, which is another story, but that's where I want to keep them. So I have to clean that out also, but I just, I wanted to, I wanted a win in my corner. I just wanted to clear that out first. I, I mean, these shelves need to be organized, but before I start on that, I'm wondering if maybe I shouldn't do some other areas for I'm talking about. That garbage can, yes, that does go there. That's where it belongs. These floor jacks, they don't, that, it's, people don't just keep, the, where's your floor jack? Oh yeah, it's on the floor in the middle of the garage. Like, it needs to have a home. You can't just, peep, like, when you get oil, okay, it should go on a shelf in the garage where you keep the oil, not on the floor. All this stuff for, like, Roundup and Yard, whatever, we have all these shelves in our garage, and it's like, but there's still stuff all over the floor. That actually has to stay there because we usually don't have it in the Suburban. It takes up a lot of space. I wish there was somewhere to like hang it on the wall. <laughs> so yeah, these boxes on the floor, it's just, it's ridiculous. It's papers and God only knows what's in there. And I mean, <laughs> look at all this. I'm worried about the floor. Like, I know the shelves are going to need to be organized somehow, some way. But I mean, just look at the floor. Obviously the lawnmower has to stay there, but... Look at the floor. Obviously those giant bricks have to stay there. I mean, why do we have them? Oh yeah, Tony was gonna build a shed. But, you know, who knows? Ugh. Okay, so I put the, uh, that big, that big black square uh, board in the uh, back of the suburban to go to the dump. And then I took um, the lawn chairs, I put them outside, and, uh, what else was over there? Hmm, I don't know, I'll have to figure it out later, but now I'm going to work on this section, and this might take me a little bit, I might end up bringing those boxes into the house so I could just sort them in my, uh, library when I have time to just sit there and, um, uh, and just do that, so, yeah, I'm just going to slowly but surely go through this because I can't stand it being on the floor. Just stop at the recycle bin and throw it away on your way in the house. 
If your kids bring home papers from school, have a little shoe box, and when it's full, sort through it, keep like the best one, and get rid of the rest and do that their whole lives. Otherwise, you're gonna end up with boxes and boxes. So, let's move on to the next section here. I would like to have this be an actual path. This shelf and this shelf. So I'm gonna try and find homes for all this stuff and make a path, okay? on the doghouse but we need to get rid of the doghouse and maybe oh maybe he was used some of it for his woodshed and then keeping it for another shed that he might build but i mean does it belong in the middle of the hallway of the garage no no it doesn't it's a perfect spot for that crap right behind this see we put i put this pallet up against this wall and then that's where we store all these weird yard tall yard tool stuff but anyway that is where that is gonna go shovel and the other rake that he said he couldn't find it was like in the wheelbarrow like what stuff piled on it so what i did was i took the wheelbarrow outside leaned it up against the house and then i took the the buckets that he uses to catch moles and i put those outside the house it doesn't look that bad but the thing is until he starts getting rid of stuff he's ran himself out of space there's no room i'd like for him to be able to store his wheelbarrow and everything in the garage but he ran out of space you know he's gonna have to just make some room so anyway now the next floor space is right here from the side of the stairs all the way to let's just go to the end of the workbench that's pink right there which you can barely see because it's so jacked up but slowly but surely put your pants up get them up
get a little closer. Next corner we're going to work on is this corner. I did it. I did it. Let's take a tour. We started over here. That's going to be another day. We went all the way down there, got all that. We took those boxes and replaced it with the floor jacks and got rid of everything but the seat. We, now this does look like a mess, okay, but, you know, there's just, there's, there's just too much stuff and I can't put it away because these shelves are too full. See, so that's the problem. So. I got all this empty. I mean, we need to get rid of all this wood and this dumb chicken. 
cage. We don't even have any chickens. And I cleaned up all this. Those bags weigh 80 pounds each. That's why I was struggling. But anyway, this is all done. You can walk through. I'm super happy with that. So I do have a few more projects planned. Um, getting close to the end of the first week. Um, I have some plans. I'm not going to be working every day on this stuff. But there's definitely going to be a lot more coming your way. So keep your pants up. And we'll see you next time.